previously on the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series. We have uh, eight nationals each round and qualifier and final has points that are added up. Whoever is uh, on top at the end of the eight rounds is the, is the champion. Snowcross is a little different uh, in that we earn championship points through qualifying which uh, makes it challenging because you, you really have to be on your toes through qualifiers as well as main events. Look at the series, eight races. We're only three events into it. We'll be halfway through after this weekend. One weekend, and any one of those people could take and move to the top of the hill. And now they become the hunted. I think I have a 20 plus point lead in the Pro Open is usually a fairly good cushion, but uh, it doesn't take long to, to you know, lose that lead when you, when you have so many chances at, at points. Before Saturday's Pro Open modified class of racing, the riders race in another category, the Pro Superstock class, sled straight from the dealer's showroom floor. And on Friday night, during the Pro Superstock final, the tides are about to turn for the top racers on the circuit. Right out of the gate, number 60, Dan Ebert, gets the whole shot in the early lead. Ross Martin and Garth Copland battle for second. Meanwhile, number 68, Tucker Hibbert, moves from fifth into fourth place. Then in turn three, Hibbert falls off his sled, sending him from fourth to 13th. Up in front, Ross Martin gets by Ebert and now commands a healthy lead in first. Copland runs in second. Tremblay closes the gap in third. With two laps to go, Hibbert climbs from 13th to 5th. As the checkered flag flies, returning champ Ross Martin wins his first final of the season. Pretty much second every race, and it gets frustrating, let me tell you. I couldn't uh, be happier with We won it. Oh, bud, this one feels good. Holy sh As for number 68, Tucker Hibbert, the undefeated winning streak he's held for three rounds has officially been broken here in New York. We have seen that Tucker is human. He can make errors. Nobody hit Tucker. Tucker took himself out. That's even more concerning as to what he's thinking about. You know, it makes everybody wonder now, what's it like to beat Tucker Hibbert? He hasn't been beaten. Is he beatable? Can we do it? The answer is absolutely there. The proof is in the pudding. Is it out of reach for Ross? By no means. Ross is in the shape of his life. Mentally, he's tougher than he's ever been, and he's riding faster than he's ever ridden. It's almost like he refuses to lose, and he lays it on the line every single night on the track. There's a new sheriff in town. His name is Ross Martin. Yeah, here at the Pontiac Silverdome, it's really, really exciting to have this race here. I mean, you look out here and you see this uh, cement floor, and in 12 hours, it's gonna be filled with snow. Oh, we're hauling snow in for the snow cross. We've been doing this for like 15 years. We've been hauling snow inside the Silver Dome here in Pontiac. Um, we always haul it in for every event, and then as soon as the event is over, we haul it back outside. Hauling a lot of snow inside the stadium, a little different program than what we normally do. Snow cross indoors is a, is a difficult task. What we're doing here is basically in 24 hours, making a track out of nothing. Now we'll have it all in by probably 2 a.m., 3 a.m. tonight. We'll have all the snow in, I would say. And then we'll have the track built by 11 tomorrow. More trucks, more trucks, more snow, more snow. When we return, can Joe Duncan and his crew turn the Silverdome into a snow cross battlefield? 
we'll find out. The Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series is brought to you by Amsoil and by the U.S. Air Force.